Okay, so I'm gonna do a handful of videos with this scenario and I'll spread them out. I'm not gonna bombard you with videos on how to remove carpet padding, but there are gonna be several different scenarios. So in this one, we have a concrete subfloor. It's just taped down and it's old dusty pad. So all you really need is a knife and being real, you don't even need that. You could just tear it and go. But what I like to do is go around and basically split the tape that was holding all the seams together and the tape that was holding it to the tack strip. So we're just gonna use a razor blade, go around the perimeter, get everything you know cut loose so it's easy and manageable. See that tape there holding down the tack strip? This definitely ain't no rocket science here. We're just going to go ahead and split that so it comes off of the tack strip. Make sure everything's nice and loose. And we're going to take our time rolling it up. Now with pad, if you roll it up nice and tight, it's manageable. If you kind of like slop it in a big old pile, it's a mess to handle and get from you know point A to point B. So take your time. Roll it up nice and tight. And usually carpet padding is going to be pretty grimy. This was just a dusty mess. So you may want to have some gloves on too, especially if there was a pet in the house or something like that. It holds a lot of PP and you don't want that under your fingernails. So yeah, just go ahead and roll it up. And then you can go ahead and secure your rolls with some duct tape. And if you're in an area where your garbage will haul this away for you, that's perfect. Put it on the tree lawn, get rid of it. Otherwise, you take it to the local landfill or doing that good old dumpster diving in the evenings when nobody's watching. You know you do that stuff. So here's another shot here, just getting these little pieces in. Roll that up, make it my makeshift garbage bag, and you're good to go. So, like I said, there's other scenarios with removing carpet pad. I will cover all of them, but this is removing it from a concrete subfloor. Fairly easy as long as it's not glued down in place. If it's just taped, you're good to go.